don't know about you, but I've always been interested in designing and making my own version of a dual monitor setup. Maybe it's because I'm beginning to feel a little limited when it comes to just one monitor, or maybe I just wanted to have a bit of a change. But it doesn't matter because I'm doing it anyway. The only problem is that I want a seamless dual monitor mount that's phaser compatible and can take good care of my two LG monitors, as well as the insurmountable amount of cables that go with them. Which is why today, I'm going to share with you my story and interaction with the HNDS7, which is a dual monitor mount from today's sponsor, Wano. This mount can carry two monitors up to 35 inches and up to 12 kilos per arm, which is a great deal because my trusty old 32 inches 4K monitor and my 28 inch dual op from LG do carry some weight on them. It's also important to note that its direct competitor, Ergotron's LX Dual, can only support up to 27 inches and only up to 9 kilos. Now, you might be asking why I would need this when my monitors come with LG's Ergo arms. Well, the answer is simple. Streamlining. Instead of me having to deal with two separate arms, two separate cable management systems, and two separate mounts, I'd rather focus on one. And one of the unique features of this mount is that it also provides a built-in USB port which can be hooked to my PC without me having to reach below my desk. All these for a budget-friendly price of $139. So with that being said, let's proceed with the unboxing. Just like most mounts, you can either drill a hole and mount it on your table via a grommet mount or you can clamp it. I'm more of a clamp kind of guy, so that's what we'll do today. The build process is quite simple, straightforward, and all the tools you need are already provided. So all you have to do is to just follow the instructions on the manual. It's also important to note that the VESA mount is only compatible with 75 by 75 mm and 100 mm by 100 mm mounts.
In terms of design and finish, the HNDS7 features an elegant satin-like black finish. It's sturdy and right off the bat, it feels like a tank. I also like the base's design with the USB ports flush to the side to reduce visual clutter for a cleaner look. It's a gas spring monitor mount, so it's expected to offer smooth adjustments. If it's too loose or tight, you can easily adjust it. This ensures that you have full motion screen adjustability. You can swivel it 180 degrees, tilt it 85 degrees up and 30 degrees down, as well as rotate your monitor 360 degrees. I recommend though that you cable manage with longer cables to allow you to do this with more headroom. In terms of stability, it endures heavy shakes and ensures your monitors stay where they need to be. Huono actually conducted a seismic test in Japan to examine and develop their arms to withstand even the largest earthquakes. Its reach extends up to 25.58 inches, so if you have a large desk, this is good news. And in terms of height, you can raise it up to 21.65 inches, which ensures a comfortable viewing angle for users of any height. Overall, I like its clean look and how it provides more real estate on my desk. Having two monitors is absolutely fire for productivity and editing, and I can't be happier with having this monitor arm absolutely killing it with providing a sturdy base for my monitors. I also like how I can manage my cables more easily with this one. But most importantly, being able to streamline my screen system with just having a single dual monitor arm makes everything a breeze. So whether you're working the long hours to crush your deadlines, cozying up for a long gaming session, or simply watching your favorite shows while surfing the net, then the HNDS7 is a great dual monitor for both productivity and play. And it also saves your neck. Literally. If you're interested in picking up one for yourself, you can use my code FLASH on the screen for a $20 discount. The first 50 orders also receive a mystery gift worth over $40. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope this inspires you to go and try to build your dual monitor setup for yourself. If you have any questions, ask and I'll do my best to answer them. Feel free to also reach out on my Instagram. There I post behind the scenes and daily setup reels. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!